about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I need you afresh. Hallelujah. Listen, write this down very quickly. There are four benefits of an encounter with the Holy Spirit and we we'll stop here for today. We'll take the other encounters tomorrow morning. Do the best that you can as much as God grants you grace to follow or be around. The first assignment of the Holy Spirit is that he's the revealer of the world. The Holy Spirit is the revealer of the world. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 9 and 12. Write it down because of time. First Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 9 and 12. The Bible says, but as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. Read on. The Bible says, verse 10 now, but God had revealed them. So they are no longer a mystery. God had revealed them to us. How? By his spirit. It says, for the spirit has the ability to search all things. Yea, the deep things of God. Next verse. The Bible says, for what man knoweth the things of man, save the spirit of man which is in him. So also, no man can know the things of God except the spirit of God. You read down to verse 12. The Bible says now, hallelujah, not later, not tomorrow, now, we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god to the end that we might know the things that are freely given to us of god the holy spirit is a revealer a revealer of the secrets and the mysteries of god number two the holy spirit is the confirmer of the word the holy spirit it is within his office even though the holy spirit still plays a role in your new birth experience there is a separate encounter with his office and the bible says he's the confirmer of the word isaiah 44 from verse 24 and 26 isaiah 44 from verse 24 and 26 the key verse is verse 26 the bible says can we see 26 he says that confirmed the word of his servants. I'm hurrying up because of time. Read from 24 to 26. He says he performs the counsel of his messengers. So if I speak like I did to this gentleman, I do not have that kind of power to impart any grace. But the Holy Ghost is a confirmer. The Holy Ghost is the seal. He validates that it's truly God that sent you. Number three, this is an important one. When you encounter the Holy Ghost, you have encountered the custodian of the anointing. The administration of the anointing is in the office of the Holy Spirit. Please listen to this. Isaiah 61, you can read that. Micah chapter 3 and verse 8, please give it to us. Just write Isaiah 61 for reference. Micah chapter 3 and verse 8. I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. I am full of power 
but it came by the spirit of the Lord. Every other spiritual practice and perhaps religion does not depend on relationship for power. For instance, if you go to meet a herbalist, you don't need to know his name. He doesn't need to know your name. You don't need to know where he's from. You just tell him, I need power, maybe for some political thing or whatever it is. And he conjures something and gives you. It is only the faith life that requires a relationship for power. Your power is a derivative of your relationship. Are we together? He is the custodian of the anointing. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. But you shall receive power, the Bible says. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, you shall receive power, not before. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, he precedes the power. That power will make you witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the utmost part of the earth. Number four, the Holy Spirit represents the voice of God. Write that down. The Holy Spirit represents the voice of God to the believer. First Timothy chapter four and verse one, Apostle Paul mentoring his son in the gospel Timothy. He had this to say. He says, but the Spirit speaketh expressly. The Spirit speaketh expressly. That in the latter times, he said, some shall depart from the faith Do you like prayer? He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. We are going to pray for a few minutes. Just two prayer points. Number one is the grace for many of you who are yet to encounter the Lord Jesus Christ. Soon after this prayer, I'll make an altar call before I minister. And then for those who have encountered the Lord Jesus Christ, you are going to pray that the benefits of salvation he said, bless the Lord, oh my soul, forget not his benefits. There are benefits. You are going to pray that the benefits of salvation become real in your life. And then number two, the ministry of the Holy Spirit becomes real in your life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Just for a few minutes and we're done for tonight. Is someone praying? All the overflows, please pray. Those following us. From all over the globe online, pray. This is the time to pray. The benefits that come with the encounter of the Son of the Living God, the life of God, access to righteousness, the reality of the workings of His grace, peace that surpasses all understanding. Are you praying? Pray for the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God in a fresh dimension. I embrace you, I embrace your ministry. I embrace you, I embrace your ministry. I embrace you, I embrace your ministry. I embrace you in my ministry. I embrace you in my life. Pray. I embrace you in my business. I embrace you in leadership. I embrace you in government. You may be a politician here, yeah, pray. You may be a father in the land, pray. You may be a diplomat, a career person, an industrialist, pray. The ministry of the Holy Spirit, transforming the plateau to a sign and a wonder. Pray for your church, man of God. Spirit of the living God, I introduce you afresh to my assembly, to house on the rock just, to the body of Christ across the plateau. In a new way, let the wind of the Spirit come. Hallelujah. 
Listen. I believe with all my heart that God is doing something from tonight. Lord, pour out your seal. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no water. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no water. Listen to me. We have but a few minutes tonight. And all across this large auditorium, this, this theater, this space, the main church, all of the extensions inside and outside. There are people listening to me right now. And the Holy Spirit is speaking to you that you have to win this war of destiny tonight. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Listen to me. In order of priority, the greatest and most superior encounter in your life is that encounter with the Son of the living God. Every other thing that we do here tonight and for the days that come, that follow, is absolutely inferior to this one encounter. There are people scattered across whilst you heard me speak the holy ghost began to convict you that it is time for you to take jesus serious it's time for you to make that one decision embracing the life of jesus acknowledging his lordship this is beyond church this is beyond religion whosoever calls upon the name of the lord he shall be saved now very quickly i am going to count one to ten and you are here you are saying apostle if you will lead me to make this noble decision i am unashamed and i'm ready to stand before jesus i'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here one are you celebrating jesus two three Run to Jesus. Sabon Rai Kapani Nagode Cheto Kapani Nagode Run to Jesus. Don't be ashamed of Jesus tonight. Sujada nena kei. Godia nena kei. Sujada nena kei. This is the part of the song I like. Who is singing that song? Kei kashare hawaye. Run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Now listen to me. Coming to Jesus is not like coming to a funeral. No. 
Coming to Jesus is exchanging your weakness for his strength. Exchanging your limitation for his power. Every one of us who celebrate the faith life today had to make this decision. I salute every one of you and for those of you who are following online, I'd like you to open up your heart and connect. It matters that we participate in the global harvest. Someday Jesus is coming back. I announce to you again, life will not continue like this indefinitely. A day will come when the trumpet will sound. I assure you it will happen. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. One more time and I lead you to this prayer. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. Now listen to me. All of you who are standing here, my God, such a strong presence of the Holy Spirit. I'd like you to lift your right hand here at House on the Rock, Joss. And I want to lead you to Jesus. The Bible declares that whosoever comes to him will not perish, regardless the past, regardless the limitations. Jesus gives us new life. I want you to say this prayer from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is right here at this crusade ground. Are you ready to pray? Very loud and very clear to your own hearing. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you were raised up for my justification. This night, I make Jesus my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace, the gift of righteousness into my spirit. And I declare, based on the authority of scripture, that from tonight and forever, I am a child of God. I am saved. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Years ago, I remember watching Reinhard Bonke of Blessed Memory making this decision. I was somewhere in the crowd when he was making that call. And today he's joining the cloud of witnesses in heaven and seeing as this noble ministry continues even after his departure. Listen to me. You have made the noblest decision in your life. And I congratulate you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now very quickly. There are a group of counselors. Please can you wave your hands. Now the counselors are waving their hands. There are a number of you. But all of you in concert. I want you to obediently follow the man leading you. You are going to be taken somewhere. You may be given a few materials. And then they will just admonish you for a few minutes and you quickly join us god bless you let's honor them plateau just is this the best you can do mm -hmm. 
Celebrate them as they as they go. I have a few minutes. We'll soon be out of here. I want to pray and speak over someone's life. Yes, unena gane, oh, yes, bade tu kan kan fina. Yes, unena gane, yes, na bade tu kan kan. Sing it for me. Jesus, I'm about to pray for you. must live your life this night not tomorrow this night here at this 19th anniversary please believe i'd like you to open your mouth in one minute and pray lift your voice and pray that one thing that must live your life for sure it says say unto god how terrible are thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you lift your voice and pray Glad to pray. North Central pray. Nigeria pray. Africa pray. Call unto me and I will answer, the Bible declares. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Hallelujah. Now, this is what will happen. We still have other days, so we're not going to delay. But we have a few minutes, and I just feel third in my spirit just to speak a prayer. And then, whatever happens tonight, I may not have the time to prophesy and speak because our time is gone and we have to respect time so that we're back to our homes. But then, I know that someone will leave this place completely transformed. There is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Now I want to pray. Please do me a favor. Whoever falls under the anointing close to you, if you can do me a favor, whether you're an usher or not, please bring them here. We have just five minutes. Praise the Lord. There are people here who are under oppressions of darkness. Listen to me. My Bible declares. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy, annihilate, liquidate. Don't just come out at random. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. And the moment I pray for you, inside, outside, everywhere, the power of God will come and bring life and liberty. For the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit, it says. And that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Are you ready to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, 
when I'm praying, I'm going to give you an instruction to shout that name, Jesus. And as you shout that name that is above every other name, every demon and every devil on the plateau that will not let you rest must give way. Lord, I pray that you honor your word. Here at House on the Rock, here at just plateau, it's time to experience liberty. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. The Bible declares that he nailed it to his cross. Therefore, we place a sanction in the realm of the spirit to principalities and powers, ordinances of darkness, tying down the destinies of men. It's time for you to go. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, every chain that has held you bound must let you go. Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command those chains. Go, 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 go. In the name of Jesus, bring them out. I cause yokes of darkness. In the name of Jesus, every oppression, bring them out. My God, shake it, take it, take it out. Families must be delivered right now. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, every victim of oppression, of darkness, hear the word of the Lord. I come by the apostolic and the prophetic and I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now for upon Mount Zion, help them. There shall be deliverance and holiness. Every spirit tying down any destiny, any spirit tying down families, it's time for you to go. Shanda Branda Skalika Tosiata Embrakate, help them please. Don't allow them to disturb our, our excellencies here, please. Let's have a few protocol people just stand to make sure that they do not this. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. Look up, please. Hear me. There are families under the sound of my voice. It looks like nobody is able to rise. Just when you are about to rise. There are powers that bring you down. But right now, in the name of Jesus, any family under any kind of captivity, right now, I command those powers, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Bring them out. Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18. Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, I saw four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, so that no man doth lift up his head. Psalm 3. He says, how many are they that rise up against me? Many are they that say, where is your God? He said, but thou, O Lord, you are a shield for me. He calls him my glory. I prophesy again. The power of God is coming upon you. Any family here, under the sound of my voice, that have been oppressed by spirits, I'm saying it again. Be delivered right now. Release your destinies now. Release your families now. Someone open your mouth in one minute. Begin to declare. I'm a child of God. Everything stolen from my life. I command recovery. Relationships. Opportunities. Are you praying? Please don't be silent. And I will restore to you the years. Declare. My family. we're wrapping up we're exalting Jesus in this place I pray for everyone who is out here every spirit that has tied your life you know my voice 
I come as one sent by Elohim. In the name of Jesus at the count of three. Get out of their lives now. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Out of their destinies. Out of their destinies. Out of their families. We give you worship. Worship. The highest praise to the King. We give you worship. Worship. Highest praise to the King. So we bow down. We bow down. Highest praise to the King. So we lift up holy hands. Highest praise to the King. So we bow down. We bow Hallelujah. Please look at me. We are not just wasting time here. You will be surprised to hear the testimonies that these people return with. He said he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Let me speak to you. Every door that has refused to open over your life, I come tonight by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I speak to every closed door. Hear the word of the Lord. Ephata, be open hither and thither. Doors of opportunities, be open now. Every closed door, be open now. Doors in ministry, doors in business, be open now. Including those I'm seeing outside, outside the building there. I command those doors open in the name of Jesus. Hear me. For everyone that has come for this meeting, between now and tomorrow morning, believe me, I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare you return with strange testimonies. Hear me. For many of you, you will go to bed this night and the secrets of your destiny will be open to you. The Lord will show you your place in destiny. For some of you tonight, you are receiving divine direction. It will come in dreams and visions. Now let me prophesy. If there is any power on the plateau fighting the gospel, if there is any power on the plateau fighting the advancement of men all earth i speak to you i speak to the elements of the supernatural let tonight be a night of judgment and every family that is here to to experience liberty on the plateau i declare by the spirit of god it begins from tonight in the name of Jesus, all of you who are out here, I declare you completely delivered by the spirit of grace. You can register. We may not have time to take testimonies, but I'm sure that there is a link or there is a, a committee that you'll be able to register your testimonies. Tomorrow morning and the subsequent sessions, I'm going to be praying for the sick. Please, I want you to make up your mind that you're going to participate in all the sessions and do well to come with someone even if they will sit on the fence the fence will not break God is bringing a visitation to the plateau the Lord bless you the Lord increase you the Lord hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you